all things are called as matter. Got it? Even your pencil, your book, your notebook, all these things are matter. Matter comes in three main types. Okay, there are three types of matter. Solid, liquid, and gas. Okay, this is the gas. Gas. Solid, solid, liquid. Petrol is the liquid. Okay, and the liquid in the bottle. So, what is solid? Solid has a definite shape and size. Okay, what does definite mean? Definite shape means the shape of solid stays the same. As you can see in the picture, okay, if you put your choice, the duster, duster and the chalk in the cupboard or if you put them on the desk, on the table or anywhere, they don't change their shape, okay? They stay the same. These are the example of solid and you can see, feel, touch and describe solid, okay? These are the solid things. Can you see? Yes. Can you touch? Yes. Can you feel? Yes. This like this teddy bear. How do you feel like this teddy bear is very soft and this puzzle box is very hard. Okay. And you can also describe. Okay. Now you can say it is hard and it is colorful. Okay, beta? So now the next is liquid. Liquid has a definite volume, but it doesn't have a definite shape. That means uh, liquid, the liquid takes the shape of its container. Okay, uh, like, the so like the solid, you can see, you can feel, you can touch, you can describe, this, uh, describe the liquids. Okay, but liquid doesn't have a definite shape. It means... When you pour a liquid, for example, you can see here, okay, for example, juice or any other liquids, they take the shape of the container, okay. What does container means? An object that contains, holds something like a glass in the picture, okay. The glass is the container and here the bottle is the container. Liquid takes the shape of the bottle and here liquid takes the shape of the glass okay and it has a definite volume that means if you pour a uh, if you pour this juice into a big jug but the juice and the quantity the amount of the juice will remain the same okay now the third state third state is gas it has no definite shape or volume. Gas takes the shape of whatever container they are in. The air all around us is a gas. The most gases can't be seen and it doesn't have definite shape or volume. So it's not easy to touch and describe them like liquid and solid. Okay? Better remember the difference between gas, liquid, and solid. Okay, we can touch, we can describe, we can see solid and liquid. But we can't see gas, we can't see, uh, we can't touch gas, we can't describe gas. Because most gases cannot be seen easily. Okay, like there are different gases in the air. But can you see it right now? No. We can't see or touch them, but sometimes we can feel them. Okay, now do this activity with me. Okay, blow out on your hand, like blow out on your hand. Do it with me. Yes, can you feel the air on your hand? If you blow out on your hand, you can feel the air on your hand. That means air is present around you. Air is made up of different gases. Did you notice in the picture? 
the gases can take different shapes of the container like in the hot air balloon the gas is also present this is the tire of a bicycle and the gas is also present because the gas takes the shape of whatever container they are in okay got my point yes as i have told you there are different gases in the air the air is around us, but we can't see or touch. Okay, beta? Remember this point. Air is all around us, but we can't see, touch, or describe the air. And do you know one most important gas is the oxygen? It, uh, oxygen is present in the air. It helps us in breathing. Because of this oxygen gas, we can live we can breathe okay you are breathing right now this is because of the oxygen gas okay if the air around us doesn't have oxygen gas then all living things including you me and all the human beings would die so that means oxygen gas is very important for us because it helps us to stay alive Otherwise, we would be dead. And there is one more important function of the oxygen gas. It helps a candle burn. Do you know this? Oxygen gas helps a candle burn. It means fire needs oxygen to burn. This is an amazing point. Okay, Fire needs oxygen to burn okay now let's watch a video and you can see a song and try to learn it so let's enjoy the song <laughs> The stuff of life is matter Now here's some scientific chatter I'm gonna give it to you nice and straight When it comes to matter there are three states Solid or liquid or gas Solids they put in a single place When put in something else they keep their own shape Your chair is a solid and so is a box Your shirt is a solid and so are your socks A table is a solid and so is your phone A cookie's a solid and so is a stone Can you think of any more solid? The stuff of life is matter Now here's some scientific chatter I'm gonna give it to you nice and straight When it comes to matter there are three states Solid or liquid or gas Liquids flow when they move around They take the shape of the container now Water is a liquid and so is apple juice Milk is a liquid, it's good for you Soda is a liquid and so is gasoline Salad dressing is a liquid, you see Can you think of any more liquids? The stuff of life is matter Now here's some scientific chatter I'm gonna give it to you nice and straight When it comes to matter there are three states Solid or liquid or gas A gas expands to fill any space Now a peculiar look may come to your face Because sometimes gases are invisible Let me explain you can't really see it, but you know it's there All around you is a gas called air The helium in a balloon is a gas And so is the wind as it blows past Smoke is a gas and so is steam You're blowing out gas when you use an AC Can you think of any more gases? The stuff of life is matter Now here's some scientific chatter I'm gonna give it to you nice and straight When it comes to matter there are three states Solid or liquid or gas You can classify matter in other ways Like by color or size or texture or shape Like color red, white, blue, orange, black, green Brown, yellow, pink, purple, gray You see like size, big, 
while I'm medium Skinny or wide, thick or thin Like texture, spiky or furry or smooth Or bumpy or soft or rough or lumpy Like shape, square, circle, rectangle Star, oval, or triangle Trapezoids and hexagons Diamonds and octagons the stuff of life is matter Now here's some scientific chatter I'm gonna give it to you nice and straight When it comes to matter there are three states Solid or liquid or gas Okay, now the properties of matter A property is what we use to describe an object Like color So what is the color of your shirt right now? Tell me in the chat box Okay, now the shape what the shape is as you have watched in the video how long round short something is okay this is called shape and the smell is like like the garbage smells so bad and the flowers the smell is so good okay so texture texture is a little bit difficult word for you so i will explain it the texture means how hard, how soft, how smooth, and how rough something is. Like as you can see here, the cotton balls. The texture of these cotton balls are very soft. Okay? And the texture of this stone is rough and hard. And the, what is the texture of this stone? Yes, if your answer is hard and soft, then you are absolutely correct. Clap for you. Okay. So, with a matter can also be thick or thin. Like you can see here in the picture, this is a thin book and this is a thick book. As we have already learned, all the things around us is called matter. Your books, your pencils, even your mobile, your laptop. So the matter can be thick or thin. Okay, this is thick and this is thin. Or matter can be natural or made by people. So what does that mean? Can you give me the example of natural? Yes, the water. Water is liquid. The air. The air contains gases, okay, and these are natural. Natural means they are not made by the human beings, okay? And matter can be made by people, like the eraser, like your sharpener, like your clothes, okay? Got my point? Now the texture means how it feels, as I have already described it in the previous slide. So, the cotton balls are very soft, the texture. What will you say? The texture of the cotton balls are very soft. And the texture of the egg, okay, this is the shell of the egg, okay, is hard. And the texture of this stone is rough and also hard, okay. And the texture of this, this stone is, is smooth and hard got it beta are you getting my point so easy okay beta here is a uh, activity or you can say experiment from your book page number 34 okay beta all open your book page number 34 okay here is an activity for you okay let's watch this Air is present in the bottle, although we can't see it. But if you pour the water into the bottle, air escapes from the sides of water, from here. Okay, so the water goes into the bottle very easily. But 
if you put a clay around the top of the bottle, it doesn't allow the air in the bottle to escape from the bottle. around the top of the bottle here it doesn't allow the air to escape from the bottle so the water goes slowly in the bottle so is this a magic no it's a science because of the presence of air in the bottle okay due to the presence of air so that means air takes the space okay got it Okay, Mita, now the states of matter. There are, as you know that, there are three states of matter. One is solid, one is liquid, and the third one is gas. And matter can cha change its, its state from solid to liquid to gas. Okay, now you can see here, this is the ice. Ice is solid. If, okay, and this is the water. Water is liquid and if you boil this water it becomes the you can see here the gas okay now we will learn it in more detail so with a freezing freezing means when you put the water in the freezer it becomes ice okay when water freezes when water freezes it becomes ice and ice is solid okay and solid what is solid solid has a definite shape okay you can see you can touch can you can see the ice cubes you can see you can touch you can describe the ice because ice is solid okay so you can see how a liquid i mean water changed into a solid state i mean ice okay Got it? Is it easy? Yes. Now, melting. When this ice, you can see here in the picture, when this ice melts. Okay, and remember what is the ice? Ice is solid. Okay, when the ice melts, it becomes water. Okay, water is a liquid. Okay, so means solid can change into a liquid okay solid ice can change into a water water is liquid through the process of melting okay got it okay but now the heating heating means when water is heated it becomes vapor you can see here the vapor okay when you boil the water it becomes the Vapor. Vapor is a gas. So in this way, matter can change its state from liquid to gas. Okay, vapor is a gas, but water water is the liquid. So liquid can change into a gas. Okay, got it better? Are you clear on this? Good. Okay, better. Now, this is the experiment from your book. Open your book, page number 34. This is the other activity. Okay, activity number one. We have already done the activity number two. Okay, now this is the activity number one from your book, page number 34. Okay, I'm reading this. Push a bottle under water as water rushes into the bottle. What do you see? Okay, so let's watch a video okay but it is a known fact that humans and other living things breathe air to stay alive air is colorless and can't be seen but is, its presence can be felt this activity shows that air takes space okay so what will you do 
find out an empty bottle, an empty glass bottle. Okay, you can see in the video. Now, invert this bottle into the bucket filled with water. You will notice that the water doesn't completely occupy the bottle. And a large part of the bottle remains empty. This is due to the presence of air inside the bottle. This doesn't allow the water to fill this bottle. Now, now incline the bottle. Slightly bubbles are coming out from the bottle. When you incline the bottle, okay, the bubbles are coming out from the bottle. So what is this? The bubbles are nothing but air because air is present in the bottle which escapes in the form of bubbles. Gradually the water fills the bottle entirely and flow of bubbles from the water, bottle stops. This shows that air takes space. Okay, got it? Okay, beta. Here is a picture and you will tell me in the chat box, what is this? Coffee. Coffee is liquid, solid or gas? What? Tell me the answer. Okay, beta. Tell me the coffee inside the cup is what? Solid, liquid or gas? Now the next picture, this is solid. Honey is liquid. When a volcano erupts, what comes out? Gases. Bricks are solid. Very good. And the stones are also solid. The soup in the cup is what? Give me the answer quickly. Soup. Yes. The liquid paints. Sorry, the paints are liquid. This is the gas. Gas. Butter is solid. And the ice is also a solid. Very good. Okay, beta. Now conclusion of the chapter. So these, these are the main points of the today's lesson. Okay. You can take the screenshot and, and picture of the conclusion. Okay, number one point. There are three states of matter. Solid liquid and gas and what is matter matter is all the things that is around us okay so it can be solid it can be liquid or it can be gas matter is everything around us which occupies a space okay we can sometimes change the nature of the things by heating, melting, cooling, or freezing, okay? As we have learned the uh, changing the states of the matter, okay? Matter can be changed from liquid to gas by heating, okay? It can be changed from solid, I mean ice, to the water by melting. Or it can be... Uh, it can become like uh, I have seen. Uh, I have showed you the example of freezing. When the water freezes, it becomes the what ice. Okay, so this uh, liquid can change into the solid. And one important gas in the air is oxygen. Oxygen helps us to breathe, to stay alive. Okay. It, it helps the candle burn. All things need oxygen to live. Fire needs oxygen to burn. Okay, beta, these are the important points of today's lesson. Okay, now the home task of unit number seven. Take a screenshot and picture of this. Be quick. Question number one. Do the textbook exercise, page number 33 and 34 from your book. Define the following terms. You have to write the definition of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. Question number three. Draw an, an example of solid, liquid, gas. Write down the name next to the picture. Because this is given in the next slide. Okay, I will show you. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर ड्रॉ अ लाइन टू मैच ऑब्जेक्ट्स एंड देयर करेक्ट स्टेट्स ऑफ मैटर दिस इज आल्सो गिवन इन द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड्स ओके आई विल शो यू डोंट वरी जस्ट टेक अ स्क्रीनशॉट एंड पिक्चर ऑफ दिस बी क्विक हरी अप एंड डू दिस होमवर्क इन योर फेयर कॉपी ऑफ साइंस सब्जेक्ट हैव यू ऑल डन दिस यस ओके बेटा दिस इज द होम टास्क टेक अ स्क्रीनशॉट बेटा बी क्विक टेक अ स्क्रीनशॉट ऑफ दिस Okay, this is from the book, page number thirty-four. Okay, you have to do page number thirty-three and thirty-four in your copy as well. Okay, and next, take a screenshot of this. Draw an example of solid, liquid, and gas. Okay, what will you do? You have to draw the example of solid, like apple. In the liquid, you can draw a glass filled with water. In the gas, you can uh, draw the picture of any gas, like a volcano, like a uh, Water boiling, okay, and write down the name next to the picture. Okay, got it, Peter? Uh, take a screenshot and picture of this. Hurry up. Okay, Peter. States of matter. Take a screenshot and picture of this also. This is the question number four. Draw a line to match the objects and their correct states of matter. I will give you the example like this is the solid. So what is solid in this? Yes. So you will make or draw a line from here to there. Okay, got it. Take a picture of this. Be quick. Have you all done this? Very good. Thank you.